What's happening everyone? Brian Mello here again over at Marty's Chevrolet. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at this 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500 RST. Now, as with most of my videos, we're gonna do a quick walk around the exterior of this truck, show you all the features there. And then once we're done, we'll jump inside and show you what goes on inside as well. First thing I'm gonna address is of course, you're seeing those LED day running lights flickering. They're not actually flickering in real life. They're just flickering in the camera. LED lights actually flicker at a really high rate of speed that the human eye doesn't detect. However, things like this camera, depending on lighting conditions, do. So that's what you're seeing there. Right here is our key fob. We've got our lock, our unlock, remote start, lift and lower the tailgate and our panic button. Throw that back in my pocket. Truck looks absolutely beautiful. I'm a huge fan of white trucks. I think just the contrast between the white and the black looks really good. Of course, we've got the LED headlights with the LED day running lights. We've got the blacked out bow tie because it is an RST. Down low, you can see we've got the vents in the front bumper. It actually improves aerodynamics. So when you're going at really high rates of speed on the highway, the wind actually hits the front bumper, goes out through those vents and decreases wind resistance. Down low, we've got fog lights. We've got our blacked out tow recovery hooks. What a gorgeous truck. As we go around the side, we get a first glimpse at our RST wheels. They are a gray 20 inch wheel with machine face. And this is a Bridgestone Dueler AT tire. A little bit more aggressive tread than you're gonna get on some of the other trucks. Looks awesome. Z71 badging sitting up on the fender. Of course, it's got the Z71 suspension, the dual mode transfer case and skid plates underneath. So if you're gonna take this thing off road, it is a great start. Crew cab, as we can see. I also like to point out on the side view, I love this body line that runs from the headlight down and runs the entire length down the side of the truck. Going around the back, you can see you've got your easy step rear bumper here and you do have the handhold. So if you put your foot on the bumper and you can grab right here, nice and easy pulling yourself into the bed of the truck. RST, for those who don't know, stands for Rally Sport Truck. RST trim is relatively new. I want to say it came out in 2020. I could be wrong. Someone can correct me in the comments if I am. You've got dual exhaust, trailer tow packages, of course, all set up and you do have your plugs right here. So your bottom and top, depending on what kind of trailer plugs you're using. You've got your rear backup camera system, easy drop tailgate, no more slamming, it's super, super light. Factory spray and bed liner, you got the Chevy bow tie on the back, which I think looks really nice. You've got 12 tie down hooks. You can see them right here. LED interior bed lighting. If you're wondering what this blank spot is, uh, there's an optional outlet, full AC outlet that you can have in these trucks. Uh, this one does not have that. I love the Chevrolet embossed on the back of the bed. Your RST and Silverado badging. This truck is sold and someone has already removed the window sticker. It's actually all cleaned up and waiting for delivery, but I saw it and wanted to show everyone before the customer picks it up. So I'm not gonna be able to show you the window sticker on this one, but I am gonna be able to show you everything else. Let's look at the interior is your door. You get your wood grain and aluminum trim. GM's all weather floor mats. You've got a 10 quart storage container back here as well as on the other side. Armrest drops down, doubles as your cup holder. And if we lift the seat, you've got this storage container underneath, which is really nice because for those of us that have owned a pickup truck in the past, you put something underneath the back seat, you hit the brakes, everything slides out. So it's nice that they have this little container now. You can put whatever you need. Maybe it's a tow chain. Uh, maybe it's you know jumper cables, whatever. You can keep that here. It's not gonna keep sliding out from underneath the seat. Also in the back, you have your rear vents, two USB ports, and then your standard power outlet that we're all used to seeing inside vehicles nowadays. You got pockets on the back of both seats for more storage. Starting to get chilly out down here in the Cape. And that brings us up front. Oh, there's a look at your door. You can see once again, you get that wood grain with aluminum trim, looks really good. 
You've also got the aluminum door sills and the Z71 mats. Keep that covered up so it's, they stay nice. And let's jump inside and go over this interior. Now, I say I'm going to go through this kind of quickly at the end. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, want to know more or less or just yell at me, by all means, feel free to do so. Let's get right into it. So starting on the left side of this truck, you can see you've got your power windows, power mirrors, your power door locks. Jumping up to the dashboard, we've got our mode selector. So like if you really wanted some extra get up and go, you could put this thing into sport mode. It's going to bring the, let the uh, RPMs come higher up before it shifts unless you really get all, all that horsepower out of this 5.3 V8. You've got your four wheel drive controls. Your headlight controls are here. This is your gauge cluster brightness on or off. Spotlight over the bed. Honestly, your headlights are probably going to keep them in auto. I had them on just so you could see them. Jumping over to your steering wheel, you've got your heated steering wheel, cruise control settings, blacked out bow tie in the middle. Thank you. Right side, you have your hands-free voice controls. And this little guy right here, If I, I'm going to go up and down. Actually, I'll go over first. So I'm going to go over to info, and now I can go down through all the different information. Fuel range, oil life, tire pressures, brake pad life, all that good stuff. It's amazing that you can get brake pad life now. I mean, they've, made things, <laughs> they've made things nice and easy. You can go over to the home. You can see right, my distance till empty, speed. Now, you can customize this to your liking. If you go all the way over to settings, you can change the home page. You can change the info pages. Um, but for the most part, most people leave it just like this. You have your speed distance till empty and your mode is down there as well as your uh, drive mode so whether you're in four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive i don't think i have to go over the gauges we all know those oil pressure temperature fuel battery voltage everything's uh you know business as usual there your push to start button is down here and actually i did skip on the back side of your steering wheel so if your hand is here on the back side of your steering wheel is your volume controls so volume up and down you can see i'm adjusting it there right there on the back of the steering wheel, which is nice. That brings us to our Chevy MyLink system. You have AM, FM, XM, satellite radio. You have Apple CarPlay. You have Android Auto. You have all your OnStar services built in, your camera, which, so if we tap that, it goes right into our backup camera system. Trailer, hook it up to the trailer hitch mode. So that, you can actually see the hitch here as well. So it makes it nice and easy if you're gonna back this thing up and hook a trailer up. Apple CarPlay, I like to let everybody know, Waze works. So if you're a big fan of Waze, um, like for instance, I don't think this one has, so this truck doesn't have built-in navigation, but if you have a smartphone, I mean, it almost doesn't even really matter. You can save the money on the navigation because you can plug in, hit Apple CarPlay, open up Waze, and off you go. You're good. And honestly, I think Waze is probably one of the best navigation systems that there is. So go ahead and do that with your iPhone and thank me later. 4G, 4G LTE Wi-Fi, uh, if I did not mention that. And I do like the way that this one, let me see if I can. It's actually probably not going to let me because I don't think the, yeah, we'll save that for another video. I'll show you how the whole Wi-Fi hotspot works and how you can connect. It's going to be a little tough because I'm recording on my phone. Uh, so let's go down below here. Here's your digital climate control system. You can see, you know, turn it, change the temperature to however you want. Heated seats. Auto start and stop disabled or enabled. If you're not a fan, like I am not a fan, of when you come up to a red light, the vehicle automatically shuts down and starts back up when you take your foot off the brake in order to increase your fuel economy. I hate it. It just drives me crazy. Uh, you do have the ability to turn that off. You can drop the tailgate. You have your hazard lights, traction control on or off, uh, hill descent control, power outlet, USB, USB-C. Once again, these block off plates are if you had the full AC outlet, and I forget what this one is for. In the middle, you've got your drop down armrest console setup, cup holders, junk storage, and uh, more junk storage because we all know that's what's going to happen. I don't think you have any outlets in here. You do not. And of course, you can lift this up, and that's a third seat. Here's a look at your seats, black cloth in this truck with gray stitching. Looks really nice in here. Once again, we've got the black on the doors with the wood grain and aluminum surround. Truck's really, really nice. Um, RST, I'm a huge fan of. 
LED interior lighting and your OnStar buttons, they've been moved from the mirror to the overhead position. Uh, and that, my friends, is the quick rundown of this truck. I'll do my best to see if I can pull the original window sticker and get the MSRP on this one for you. Um, but if not, just know, I believe it's in the, I want to say low 50 range, if I had to take a, a guess at it. Uh, as always, I thank everybody for watching. Please consider liking, subscribing, following along. Keep me employed. I like my job. I like making videos for everybody. Looks like the rain's starting to come in, so I'm going to go run inside and hide, and I will see you all on the next video. I am out of here. What a truck.